it starts here then. Just arrived at the hotel, gonna build a bike. It's been in a cardboard box for a while. It's building. Well, you're the mechanic. There we go, ready to go. Yeah. Your bike's over here, Drew. Look at that. You got corks in your bottles and everything. Got corks. <laughs> and I've got an Eiffel Tower. <laughs> corks, oh my word, look at that. That's a feature. I like it. And the Jaguar on and the front. And you've got a Jaguar on the front. And they're fast, Jaguars. They are fast. Yeah, they you're are be, fast. You're fastest be fast. creature on the planet, so I'm, I'm just going to hang on to him. <laughs> That's brilliant. There we go. Today is bike check day. Gonna get our bikes checked by the French. See if they're legit. So we just take a soaking wet ride, two hours, getting lost, going the wrong way up the motorway slip road. <laughs> but we've come here to the bike shack. Stuck in a big queue. <laughs> do you reckon they'll let you do a bike shack with a puncture? Safe to say you run them soft. <laughs> Alright, that's fixed. That's the only puncture I'm getting then. I think other people have got the train. Someone said train and I thought, no. Nah. So I've got another hour and a bit. Ride back to the hotel and that'll be that done. That's been a stressful day, that has. Torrential rain and spray on busy roads trying to get to this bike track and then like an hour or a two hour queue however long it was just to get a little badge for my bike they checked my lights but they didn't check my brakes or anything and the bloke said you got a puncture in French and I was like yeah no worries I'll fix it and they said all right so that's the story of that bit then bike checks done Ride Reel starts tomorrow evening at 6.15. So today's the first day of the big ride. Everything's packed up and ready to go. A little bit nervous, bike's not in the greatest shape, it's creaking, but my knee not hurting, so positive. The rain's cleared off. And this is the start. There's every single nationality you can think of everywhere. <laughs> See, maybe that means where the sea wave starts. Not sure. Group F, the specials. We have a guy that's a Velomobile guy in the East Coast that's doing 20 mile an hour average on all of his brigades. A Velomobile, yeah. Well, if it's flat enough, I imagine it's... Uh, uh, well, I mean, even with hilly stuff, he did uh, it's, uh, 1200K with 35,000 feet. Wow. Uh, with a lot of really steep hills, and he was one of the fastest the You can bomb along on the flat, can't you? Do they There's a triple. I don't know. They are Fs, but then they don't look that special. The triple, the the triple with a disc wheel at the back and what looks like Marathon Plus tires at the back and the front. I'm in group J. So you're 6:45. Seattle Randoners. Yeah, you built the bike? I built that hey. one, I built this one. There's a bike builder riding bikes. <laughs> There's a Ferrari. Bonjour. Thank you, merci. That's it then, we're stamped. It's time to go. And the 90 hours have started, just re leaving Ramboulet now. Hey! 
Taïwan. Bonne route, c'est nous qui vous remercions. Félicitations. Flat and excellent, the road surfaces are brilliant. There's people from every nation. They were filling up our water. <laughs> that was nice. Dark already, so it's into the night. Absolute carnage at the first control. <laughs> Look how I get a stamp and some water. Been towed here mostly by Aldax Japan and two ladies from Italy. It's been good. Oh, it's got a bit cold. Our mom has gone on. There's an endless stream of lights, look. Lights are everywhere. <laughs> That's control number two then. It's really warm in that tent. So I can't stay in that tent because I'll come out and I'll be freezing cold. <laughs> There's a water bottle fell up and I'm off. So I'm thinking if I make some good progress now I can have some more time for sleep later on I think. That's the idea. Kind of glad I packed a lot of food. I've needed it. <laughs> I was getting really tired earlier so I took three pro, pro plus and I didn't do anything so I took three more and then I was wired so that was good. Uh, just notice when these velomobiles go past I think they're like beetles they're like beetles scuttling past on the floor big ones. Right what is it, half five in the morning, it's still not light. Been waiting for the sun to come up, but it's not doing so. So I've had a five minute kip on this bit of floor. So that was fun. Um, three more Pro Plus. Five minute kip, I'm gonna get going again. Ladies and gentlemen, the sun is rising. The sun is rising. Oh, I had to have another sleep as well. It was longer than five minutes, the second sleep. Got woken up by a truck trying to drive past my face. <laughs> it was like on a farm road or something. And uh, the farmer obviously wanted to exit. And I was in the way. <sighs> so yeah, on the upside, only 910k to go. Oh, first thing in the morning, that's two espressos, that'll wake me up. This place opens especially, look, it's good. More lights coming. Second breakfast is at this place. Trap Supra on the way. Dusty Specker. <laughs> right, just had my another two copies, another two coffees and craps at the crap place, and just about to come into the third control, I believe. 310, 320k is maybe done. Right, let's see what it looks like in there. I've already eaten, I just need to fill, my, fill up my water bottle and get a stamp, and then I'm on my way again. Oh, there's a guy with a unicorn on his head. Right, well there's some car stamping going on. Uh, some, you can get some food, I guess. I'm not interested in food, I'm just going to get a stamp and go. So this chain's loose again. 
wobbling around like crazy and uh, tighten up for the third time. Look, P Man's turned up in the middle of France. Alright, this is how it should be. The sun's out, it's not too hot. Just met a nice bloke riding a concourse bike and they're doing filming. They're doing a concourse film, I think. Show bikes. He built it himself. And there's a peloton just about to catch me so I can draft for a while. So life's good at the minute. There's another control then. There it is, um, bartered two bits of bread for two euros. So I might do the same again and crack on. Hey, that's, that's one of the concourse bikes, isn't yep. it? Nice. Still runs. I follow you on Instagram, you make lots of bags. Uh, it's uh, Jean Michel. Uh, oh. He couldn't ride it himself. Oh, he couldn't ride it himself? No, because okay. he had too, uh, too much uh, stomach problems in, ah. in the uh, preparation time. And yeah. So he asked me. <laughs> Brilliant. And Bought a kilo of jam and a loaf of bread, so that will do me for a while. Oh, the wasps! Oh, oh no! Bad move. Right, knackered. Two o'clock. I'm gonna try and get a small kip here. Got to sleep wherever you can. Wow. That must be hard. Say hello, Jeff. Can I film your bike? Classic rando bike. Look at that. Control number four or five, I've lost count now. Courage. <laughs> That's some classic French music going on over there. I think I'm just going to hit the road again. I've got nighttime plans, so I need to get to Carhe, which is three to four hours away. I'd say four hours away. I might get there at eight or nine o'clock tonight. General consensus is this is the secret control then. Just to keep us on our toes, I guess. 20 miles to car hay, um, and that's it then. Then I'm sleeping. I can't wait for that. Might get there before it's dark. I don't know. It's not recording. It is currently recording. Yeah. You got Aiden on the track now. <laughs> this is the noise I've had to put up with. Sweet, Carhe is a ghetto abandoned school or office block. Okay, I'm gonna forget in the morning, so quick video. I'm in the back of a kind uh, couple's uh, van, friends from a uh, Seven Row Club. They've uh, let me stay in their van overnight in Carhe. So this is tremendous. I've got a bed, I'm gonna take a few hours sleep. I've had a shower, uh, it's generally just amazing. So, thanks for their generosity. Uh, hopefully, tomorrow we'll go nice and smooth. My knees feel good. This is ridiculous. Anyway, I'm going to bed. Yeah. Running repairs, nothing terminal. Yeah, turn up on PBP to get your bike maintenance sorted out. Yeah, thanks, Ian. <laughs> This may cost a few beers to keep this quiet. <laughs> I don't know how I can repair you. <laughs> it's not repairing me, it's getting me to shut up. That's <laughs> <laughs> you can tell me as many stories about 79 as you like. <laughs> don't worry about it. So it's just a noisy bottom bracket and there's no there's no play in it, so it's all good. Well, it doesn't seem to be, does there? 
Um, no, there's no play. It's 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 weird. We haven't tightened up the other side, the drive side. I'm unwilling to take the chain off. Um, so that's going to be that. Yeah, but it's only a housing, and it's most of the way in. It's not as if it's got anything to bind up. No, to. no, it's snug it against the frame. It's it's snu the drive side's snug against the frame. There's no. Yeah, it all relies on being. It's got to be all right. An interference fit. And there's some aft to it. Well, that's probably more weight than we carried on a tandem. When I finish the 79 stories, you can have the 83s. <laughs> yeah, gonna tighten the chain. Uh, just left Ian and Bridget. Steve Abraham turned up as well. Obviously, he's a mutual friend, so he's staying there as well. That was the red bike. Um, off to Brest. So this road goes both ways. They're going back to Paris. We're going towards Brest. Now the descent was really cold and my fingers are really not working that great. But if I can spin fast enough, I can warm up down here. I found some ACB. people dripping in after the night. It suddenly starts getting warmer now. So I think this is near Brest. I think we're in Brest. There's, there's cyclists everywhere taking photos of each other. So I think we're in Brest. There's a bloke there in a, in a grey sweater. He's not riding PVP. He's just a local guy. He's taking pictures now for the, for the guys. He's just having a brilliant time going around talking to all the foreign cyclists, saying hello and getting some stories and trying to talk their languages and things like that. Made it to Brest. There we are then, halfway. Haven't eaten anything for a while, so a bit low on energy. But other than that, not too bad. Can't believe we've got to go all the way back now. It feels like the ride's finished, but we have to go back. Filming videos. Excellent, excellent. How's tricks? I don't know, I just found you. Have you sleep? No. Well, yeah, I've slept. I've slept four hours. Cool. It's great. Have had a glass of wine as well. Yeah, I've just got up and had a You've slept hours. here? Yeah, I slept here last night. Nice. Individual beds, two in the room. Best, uh, yeah. Sounds all right. Matt and... Jules were here, but yeah. they've gone for food. Okay, I'm gonna get some breakfast. No worries. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm just having to ride back to Paris. How about you? <laughs> uh, I might have the same problem. Anybody got a spare? Yeah. Ass? Spare what? Spare ass. Ass. Yeah, I could do with an ass. <laughs> I've grown the second one, but it's not better. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Harry. Hey. Harry. <laughs> See if my bike broke, I could pick up another one and just go home on a on a giant. So there's always a backup plan. Just leaving Brest. Another Oreo stop. Those guys are still going to Brest. They must be on the 84 hour time limit because they started on Monday, not Sunday. Uh, we're going the other way, up the hill, back to Carhay. All right, this bottom bracket's getting worse and worse. So I've messaged the club group to see if someone can ask at the next control if the mechanics by some miracle have a 103 millimeter square taper bottom bracket um I, yeah i just don't want it to give way suddenly but there's not much else i can do it's either gonna it's either gonna hold and make noise or it's gonna go but until then it just gives me constant anxiety which i'm trying to ignore um so that's the situation on the way to Carhay. My computer says that I've done 
678 kilometers. Um, the knees, knees are right. So I'm at car hair again. I'm just doing videos of me appearing at random controls again and again and again. I think this is the ninth one I've been to because there's eight stamps per page and I'm on the second page. Uh, I'm going to avoid the restaurant again. The, uh, the only news is there's just more people lying on the ground. People hanging around. My knee's fine, my bottom bracket's still in place. The next question is where where to sleep, so I will figure that out when I figure it out, but Pro Plus go in four at a time and that keeps me awake. Right, 700 k's in. I've thought of a PBP joke. Why? Why do the big Dutch blokes always have the shortest odds on PBP? Because everyone gets behind them. No? <sighs> that was pretty good though, because everyone just gets behind them. Everyone just drafts behind them. That is a good joke after 700k. Trust me. So this is the second visit to the secret control. And it's not feeling very good because of maybe not eating enough, I don't know. So I've eaten a few things. I just bought like a pasta meal, but it turned out it was full of chicken. So, so I got rid of that, got some bananas. Got At least I got some bananas. The question now is where to sleep. There's two controls coming up. One of them's really soon, before it gets dark, and one of them's at about midnight. The one at midnight's gonna be full of people, but you could sleep there and you could sleep there whilst it's cold at night which would be great the other option is to sleep at the first one that's really close and then just ride through the whole night because you're I'll be full of energy I'm leaning towards sleeping as soon as I get to the next one and then riding through the whole night that's where the action's happening and that it's that way to Paris on the plus side, I just rode an hour or so with two Davids, David Clegg and David Slay from Bristol, so that was nice. It's been a long time since I've been riding with people who I knew and could chat with and stuff like that. So that was good. Uh, that head went the other way out, suddenly changed, didn't it? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not behind us anymore. <laughs> Only 85k until we get to go to bed. My face is sunburnt. Look, he's happy. Okay, let's go. What's this, the light? Yeah, I got a light. Mine works. Yeah, thank you. See ya. Well, well done. I've made about 15 videos just that are controls just go in this is a control <laughs> this is another one yeah this one's dark and uh, there's lots of people sleeping in that girt hall this isn't a control this is actually just a place to get your bike fixed or to sleep or to get some food yeah good news is what 20 did we say 20k uh, 26, oh, 26k 
And then we get our own bed. <laughs> well, that's what it says on there. You gotta trust it. <sighs> My leg. Right, it's absolutely carnage again at the controls. We are playing musical chairs to, to queue up for a shower and a bed. I've now got myself a bed from two o'clock in the morning. Actually, it's probably three o'clock in the morning until seven o'clock in the morning. <sighs> See you on the other side. I'm so glad it doesn't smell like it's smelt in the dorm out here. Oh, that pool's still here somewhere. So we've got 900 kilometers in the bag. And we're... Uh, Done already? Yeah, we're riding together now for a bit. Some Bristol people. Yeah, we've done 900. Have we? Yeah. 900 clicks. Clicks? Yeah. Let's click it out, man. <laughs> Je suis super. Je suis super. Moi? Oui. Regardez-moi. Uh, Regardez-moi. Look at me. I am super. Regardez-moi. Regardez-moi. Je suis super. Yeah. Right here, see if it, um... Do you reckon mouthwash will cure my trench mouth? I've got mouthwash, yeah. But I feel like it... No, yeah, I've got a full-on mini mouthwash. That's that's 100 grams well spent in my book. I tell you what, though, brushing your teeth, when you haven't brushed your teeth for three days, makes you feel human. Yeah, it certainly does. Yeah. We've been on this ride so long that I've got injuries to my fingers that have scabbed up and are now healing. Oh, ooh. And every time you put something on and catch it with an arm warm, it. Ooh. But I don't want it to come up because, you know, it's going to be even worse. Yeah. Just like a minor thing like that can be yeah. quite a painful. Um, Matt's back. Back? That's great. I just found the. Uh, I was, in fact, taken, taken, they probably recognised you in somebody of superior nature to the uh, disabled toilets, which meant... Nice. Meant a zi oh, shit. Oh, okay. it's it's zero not, rush. It's a normal, better one to go to, actually. The disabled free. toilets, yeah. Where are you going tonight? Oh, so we were having a chat about this on the road. Should we all try and stay at... Hey! Hey! Hello! It's Paris, 257 kilometers. I'm going! Thanks! My mouth's really been hurting. I've bit the left of my tongue now, bit the right of my tongue. So I've got like a swollen lump of meat in the middle of my mouth. But yeah, fresh fruit and fresh fruit in a shop. It's all good. Getting there slowly. Just about to tick over 1,000. 993. A water shower. Very, very, very hot. Wow, that was the biggest party atmosphere we've had yet. Yeah? The whole centre of the town was just filled with people. So, 1,024 k's complete. And the question is do we finish today or not? It's less than 200 k's to go. And it's the middle of the day. It's really hot, so it feels like it would be a good idea just to keep on going and finish. Uh, but it's gonna get cold and dark later 
So that may all change. Hey, I like your dangle mug. Another, another kind free food and drink stop here in a tent. 130, 140 k's to go. The general public and the clubs around this area have been really, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, generous by putting on like, there's tents and stuff everywhere. Every sort of half major village or town seems to be putting on a stool with free drinks. And if you're lucky, you get free food like bananas and stuff. So it's pretty sweet. I don't feel like, riders don't feel like they're on their own. Well supported, I would say. Here we go. Cruising back to Drew for the night. Not sure what sleeping facilities there are there, but that's where I'm going. My face feels burnt. This is uh, Montagna. It's probably said wrong, but there's some old ex Bristol people on the way. My knowledge tells me. So I'm going to wait for them. There. I was just. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know. That's everyone caffeinated and ready to roll. Not really sure what to say. My face is very painful. Got sunburnt really bad yesterday. But at least I could hold up my head. <laughs> There's someone over there using an inner tube to tie their head back. Just got to tap out the last 50k then. I didn't get any pictures of you on the floor. No, it's nothing. It's nothing. I think we're about five to ten k's from the finish, so it'd be nice to regroup and go across as a jolly club. I'm very, very sore. This has taken a lot out of me. My tongue is like sore as hell. It stings when you put anything on it. My right Achilles is starting to feel a bit dodge. Got sunburn on the left hand side of my face. Knees are all right though, fantastic. I'm gonna roll into the finish, and I expect there'll be a nice atmosphere. Oh, and now he stopped. I thought it was good. Hey, what's your name? Uh, my name is Nam uh, Chang from Korea. You're okay, I'm Adam Watkins. You've got my jersey. I'm number. 308. That's me. Excellent. Okay. So we finished. That was one hell of a ride. That was something else. Uh, there was lots of things that I didn't expect to happen. and I knew it was an epically long ride. I'm just thankful for my knees held out which is really bizarre because it was on my fixed gear bike and they're not supposed to be great for knees. But they seem to sort mine out. Yeah, wow, that was crazy. I met a lot of people along the way who have watched these videos and things and have said, hello, I know I know you are, I watch your videos. So, hello, that was nice to meet a load of new people. Yeah. I seem to have contracted some sort of PBP lurgy afterwards coughing and spluttering and you can probably hear it I've got got a bit of a cold so come down the other side now 
So you saw me swapping the shirts there with a Korean guy. They were quite keen on swapping shirts and giving little gifts, which is a nice, nice thing to do. So yeah, swap shirts with him. So I got a little keepsake there. Um, so next time I go and do PBP in four years time, hopefully, maybe take some spare shirts that we can get some, get some more different ones from around the world. So good bits and bad bits. Good bits were all the people coming out on the streets um, in Villan. I'm not sure how you pronounce some of these places, but there was the whole village seemed to be out. It was a bit of a party. I tried to take some video of it. Fantastic. And I was running out of water in the hot sunshine of one of the afternoons, and there was just a bloke on the side of the road with a bottle, and I just waved him down, and he was happy to just fill up the bottle. That's what he was there for. That's his afternoon was just watching all the riders come past so that was brilliant there's a fair few bad moments some really horrible night sleep in like sports halls full of people snoring yeah that was that wasn't great i didn't get very good sleep i was very cold i should have taken my insulated jacket the nights got very cold and so i suffered quite a lot there um but we had, I was riding with a group of people who kept me kept me going through it. Thank you, Jules. Thank you, Matt. And all the others that I was riding with for keeping me awake at night. Thank you, Paul. We rode one stretch together and basically talked a load of crap between the two controls. And I just kept awake that way. And my bottom bracket held out. Cricking, clicking and creaking the whole way along but it literally didn't break at all so <laughs> I've got a new one on order no worries I think I would like to do it again it hasn't put me off if I was to do it again there's a few options could go with a fast bike and try and get a fast time or if I was gonna do it fixed again I might use a bigger gear uh, and be able to spin down the hills a little better it's a brilliant ride for fixed, just because the gradients are so shallow. There's a lot of up and down, but the gradients are 4 or 5%, nothing strenuous. But if you are considering doing it, I would well recommend it. Excellent. Apparently LEL is much better organised, so maybe I'll do LEL in two years' time. Um, anyway, I'm going to check out now. See you later. Bye-bye.